Hello and welcome back to the 200 horsepower challenge. Now, you may notice money's a little bit lower um, because I was having a think in between creating these two videos and the trailer that we bought last time was just not really adequate for anything we're going to be doing. So I have sold that small trailer and replaced it with this one. Nine and a half grand, so it's a little bit more expensive. But we did manage to, uh, you know, not spend too much, which is a perfect, uh, perfect thing really for this series. We haven't got much money left. Um, we've got thirty-six and a half thousand left, and today I want to try if I can find enough equipment cheap enough to do some uh, baling to get some, well, cut some grass and do some silage baling. So what I'm planning is basically just getting a front motor and a cheap round baler for now anyway so I will get this back to the chickens get them a bit more feed in there hopefully it'll last them a couple of months and uh, they'll be paying for their own food very very soon as soon as I've got that in there I'll be back with you and we'll start shopping for some equipment because I really do want to buy as well that uh, front loader that was in the sale for 22 grand so if we can find a mower, a baler and a wrapper for 13, maybe 14, it's going to be close, but I think it'll make sense. So yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so that's the chickens with 4,000 litres, so that'll be fine. What we need to be doing now is hoping that these actually start having, oh, sorry, these start actually laying eggs fairly quick. Um, so, I oh, used to produce eggs, cool. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at some front mowers and a baler. That might be the way we go. I've got a lot of bat mowers. Ooh, it's going to be expensive. Is there going to be another way to do it? Let's have a look at... Have a quick look at the balers. I did download a couple of mods, I'm pretty certain, for balers. I did, but really there. Well, my idea is not going to come to uh, fruition, is it? So it's going to be a rear mower, which is okay. Where? So as I said, I did download quite a few mods. So that's sixty horsepower, two point six meters. This is tiny. Twenty six horsepower. Hmm. Nine and a half grand. Yeah, so we'll have that because we're going to need that at least. That leaves us with not much money left to play with, to be fair. Twenty-two grand for that. Seventeen and a half for them. That might look a bit iffy behind our behind our little tractor. Yeah, if we're going to make silage, we'll probably do the additive tank. But does this have them sort of options, or is it literally just it's just a round baler? Hmm. 
Hmm. And then we'll have a look at bale wrappers as well, because that's going to cost us a fortune too. This is for round bales. Does one fifty yeah, one twenty five to one fifty, but it also drops them then out on their side, I believe, yeah. With the end turner. Which would be very useful on a map like this. Oh decisions, decisions. Hey, I've already bought a front mower, so that is what it is. Can we have a look at forage wagons? I guess we could just bring the grass up and sell it directly as grass for this time. And again, can have additive in it. Uh, that's for when we do silage. You know what? Actually, we'll go for that. And then, when we've cut some grass, we might even be able to find somewhere to put a small silage pit. So I'll go and pick up them two items, and I'll be back down in a minute, and we'll just mow pretty, a pretty large area, to be fair. So I will be back again in a moment. Alright, so we're back, and we're on our patch of land. We need to basically just aim for the corner of our field over there. And I'm hoping... That we can just sort of... Mow and pick up at the same time. Why is that just deleting the grass? Hmm. Let's have a look at this. See what happens there. There you go, we're actually mowing something now. But not very quickly. But still, it will be money that's going to come in. So I'm just going to get as much mode up as I can. Um, and maybe try and clear, clear a nice clear spot so we can get a small silage pit. Probably the tyres one that comes with the base game. Right. I'll see you in a minute when we've got this uh, trailer full. For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turned back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day. Something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed Yeah, yeah. 
Alright, so we're at 92%, so by the time we get to the end of this run, we will be full. 20,000 litres. Doesn't sound like a lot, but to be fair, this is just rough, basic, boring old meadow grass. It's not really anything special. We weren't expecting miracles out of it. But more importantly, we do have a nice patch there next to the chicken coop where we can lay down a small silage pit as long as I've got one. If I've not, I might have to go and find a mod because we haven't got much money to spend. <laughs> there we go, we are full. What am I doing? Right. Well, that was bizarre. So let's have a quick look and see if we do actually have anything. Uh, if not, I might have to disappear and just find a mod. Silos. Hmm. No, we don't. So I'm going to disappear and quickly find a mod for a silage pit. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I have found some bunkers that will be more suitable to uh, our limited budget. But I've also found another idea, and I think it's a good one. We want money. We could just go for a small. That's too small. That would be too small as well. It's quite pricey. Is there a free mode for this? So 9,200. And we'll turn off snapping as well so we can turn it. Hopefully. Never mind. It will snap whichever way we go. So is there somewhere else we can put this where it's a bit more flat? No, not really. So we could go for, again, I think that's really a bit small. That's then coming into the expensive side of it. Hmm. That's large. It'll last a long time. Yeah, we're doing it. We're having that. We'll obviously have to do a bit of terraforming around here at some point. But I'm not going to spend the money on that just yet. But what I was thinking is doing something with a generator so it's got like a little wind turbine we could plonk it pretty much anywhere and that will generate us some money as well it's like 20 20 pound an hour but it will all add up so i've done that on purpose there's plenty of other things we can do as well i mean there's a antenna there that's 480 a month that's too much so that'll just bring in too much money one thousand and eighty, yeah. So, and this one was four hundred and eighty. So, I'm happy with that. I have to bring in the same amount. Oh well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What we've got there. So we are going to go and empty our first bit of silage into this absolutely massive pit. I didn't expect it to actually be that big, <laughs> and uh, definitely need to do some smoothing off there. Are we on the right tool? No. So let's get that emptied into there. It's taken a long time to unload.
I can see me getting a, a stuck a lot going in and out of this. Come on, get empty. Right, so that is done. So I'm going to continue mowing some more grass and we'll actually make it look like this silo is actually worth buying. And turn it on. Beautiful. Right, I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, we're coming up to what is our, essentially our third full load of si uh, grass to go into the pit, which will put us at 60,000 litres. Now, it isn't a lot, but it's certainly going to bring in a decent amount of money, and I think we could probably actually move on, on to September before we need to get it compacted and covered, so we could possibly put a bit more in there 
uh, next time and do a different job maybe when we come into September in this episode so I'm gonna get this last load done actually I might just finish this part of the, uh, this side of the uh, the grass and then we'll look at moving on into September and see maybe maybe we can find a small contract there is one field on the map that is owned by another farmer so hopefully there'll be a contract there that we can do or maybe we continue extending our field there but it will have germinated in September so we don't want to damage anything there so turn all that off get in there and get this emptied if we can not easy to do with a small tractor and to be fair this is quite a lot of a lot of grass to be carrying behind it just try to make it as smooth as possible but also make it easy to compact at a later time I'm wondering if I get through and then come back through the other way yeah I'll do it that way we go get up on top and hopefully fill this gap that we've got in the center but if you've seen any of our previous videos you'll know I'm quite handy at getting stuck in places like this Alright, so I'm going to finish off this last little bit, like I said, and I will see you in September. Alright, so it is 8am in September. Let's go and have a quick look at our arable field. It should look pretty good now. Oh, it's actually germinated. Yes, it does. Oh, there's a lot of weeds in there. Oh, a lot, a lot of weeds. We need to do something about that. So what can we do about that? Hmm. The only thing I can think of is a hoe. Because we don't really have money for a sprayer. I think the cheapest sprayers are too expensive for what we've got. Yeah, definitely. So let's have a look. Weeders, weeders, weeders. Where are you? Where are the weeders? Nine and a half grand, so we can't afford that. Four. Well, fortunately, it's something we're going to need. So I'll go and pick that up. And I'll be right back. So let's drop this off. Okay, so we are back. And I'm just wondering before we start weeding, have our chickens given us any eggs yet? There is a pallet there. Should we see how small amount of eggs they've given us? 83 pieces. But they've still got over 3,000, nearly 4,000 litres of food. They're very happy and healthy. So they'll keep producing over time, which is brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted. Our wind turbine has been doing us what we needed it to do as well. So we're going to unfold this weeder and we're going to weed this field. While I was on my way to the store to pick this up, I did actually check to see uh, if there was a contract at that uh, farm that's got the one field on the map, and there is. So I'm going to. Well, we have already borrowed the items to do that contract, so that is what we're going to do to finish this episode off. So I'm going to get this field weeded as quick as I can, and then I will be back with you, ready to go and do a quick harvest. See you in a minute.
all oh, right so we are coming down to the end of weed in this field and then pretty much all it will need is one more quick once over at the top with some fertilizer and then it's going to be really unfortunately as good as it's going to get and um, obviously next time round it will get limed beforehand it'll get rolled um, but for now we just need to have a long-term income plan short-term income plan and I think we've got that now we've got short-term with regular income hopefully from eggs fairly soon and then we'll have long-term income from harvest and also silage so let's just take that off so that's us done with the weeder but unfortunately I didn't realize actually how long I'd been recording for so we're gonna have to do the harvest in the next episode but if you enjoyed the episode, please do like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more on 200 Horsepower Challenge. Goodbye.